it. It's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. I have a great request for you. Somebody requested to do Number 9 Dream off the Walls and Bridges album by John Lennon. So I was like, yeah, okay. That sounds like a good, easy one to get through. Uh, it's a great track, too. So uh, we're going to do that. We're in standard tuning, by the way. So uh, nothing, no capos, no crazy tunings. Just a pretty easy song to play and a great track. Uh, by one of the greatest ever. So before we get into it, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Ring the bell. Ring that little damn bell so you can see when I release a new video. And um, oh yeah, check out my Guitar Academy at guitarlessons365.com. Uh, it's got all my guitar courses. We've got a great community there, some fun people, um, some animated people, myself included, but we're learning a lot of cool stuff. So uh, ear training, guitar technique, improvisation, guitar tone. I've got a lot of it there. So lots of cool styles. So everybody's invited. So let's get into this. Now we have the kind of the verse, that intro is just kind of the verse riff, which got some interesting chords. Oh, how it's an interesting chord progression at least. So uh, we're gonna start out with these chords. definitely not a common chord progression. So we're going to start here with just a standard C major chord. So you should know that already. If you don't know your basic open position chords, go to the beginner section of guitarlessons365.com. I have like detailed videos teaching you those. So I'm just calling out like a C major and I'm not showing you exactly how to do it. Um, there's better sources of information for that on my site. Uh, but when I do like seventh chords and bar chords, I'll, I'll show you in detail what it is. So we have the C major. And then it goes to an E minor seven chord. So that's just a standard E minor chord that you can play with these two fingers. You're going to want to right now, actually, at least. So second fret on the A and the D there, all the other strings can be open, but you're going to add to make it a minor seven chord, the third fret there on the B string. So from that C, then we're going to go to an F major bar chord. So it's a full bar at the first fret. And you can play the second fret there on the G, third fret on the D, and the third fret on the A. So, so we have C, E minor 7, to an F major. Where it gets interesting is on this next chord, we have not an E minor 7, we have an E dominant 7. So the only difference between those chords is you're going to have the first fret on the G string instead of the open G, but you're going to have to finger it differently. Uh, you can still play the 7 up here with your uh, pinky, but underneath that you're just going to have like a, a normal E major. So we have this. go back to the F and then from there we go to a D major chord so that's a D major then back to the F again and then from that F what we're gonna do is go to a G7 chord now what we're gonna do to do that is move up two frets and pick up that pinky and then when you pick up that pinky You'll have that note in the chord, that third fret on the D, and that'll make it a dominant seven chord. So that's the chord progression for the verse. So all together, Now from here he just kind of holds on for this pretty much this uh, 
don't know, uh, it's kind of extended a uh, kind of pre-chorus part. I don't know. Just kind of keep holding that G7 with it. <laughs> Nothing different there. You're just kind of strumming the same chord, and until they go to the. I thought I could hear. So that's pretty cool. So what we're gonna do to to do that is we're gonna have still that that E minor seven again, and just kind of how I'm doing it as I'm picking. kind of the bottom two strings first and then I play the uh, D string then the open G so I'm done doing this while I'm holding just an E minor 7 and then we're gonna go after you do that that G string go over to the high E and play high E the B string and then the open G so like this Alright, now from there, you're just going to pick up the two outside fingers. So pick up the index finger and pick up the, uh, the pinky. And we have this. So what that's going to be is you're going to pick the A and the D string together first. And then you're going to pick the G, B, high E, back to the B, and the G. Repeat that. starts going I, that arpeggio the kind of the picking across the strings kind of goes away you can keep doing it but it's really kind of the same chords and you can just kind of strum them instead of picking across them or you can just continue the picking and then it goes to this part. First part here is just this G minor to over to a C major chord. So that's uh, C on the uh, the third fret there on the A, and then bar the fifth fret on the D, G, and the B. I don't know what he's saying here. Probably don't even want to know. So you do that three times. this little uh, descending lick. Alright, so what's going on there? So we have, we're going to start with this D major triad. So this is 4th fret there on the uh, D string, 2nd fret on the G, 3rd fret on the B. So what you're going to do is just pick from the D string across to the G and the B. And then you're going to go back and pick the bottom note there on the D string. So that's the pattern for all of these arpeggios. Is you're going to pick the bottom string, then work your way up to the B string, and then back, hit the bottom string again. One, two, three, four. Now I'm going to do that same picking pattern, but we're going to change the chord. We're going to, we're going to change the bottom note from the second fret on the D to, I'm sorry, the third, the fourth fret on the D down to the second. So you're still playing the second fret on the A, on, on that A note, the second fret on the G, and the third fret on the B. So you can just do it like this. Right here, you just pick up, if you just bar, if you're already barring that second fret, you can just pick up the ring finger, and then you have that second fret there on the D. Same picking. And then 
Same picking, except now it's going to be the open D string. So you're still going to play two and three. You're holding these two notes on top the whole time. Play this. All right. Now, what you're probably going to want to do, actually, is when you get to this, play this like a D major. You want a D major. Because then that allows your second finger to come over and grab the next bottom note, the next uh, uh, bass note that we're going to have, which is this C here at the third fret on the A string, while still holding this second fret, these two notes. So now you got to kind of pick across from the A string, G, B, G. So we have this all together. the second half of it so that's gonna be uh, same pattern but third fret on the B string open G fifth fret there on the D so we have this all right and now what you're gonna do is play the third fret on the D string but and you know, I'm going to replace that third fret on the B string with my ring finger. So you still got the open G in there. Then take this note on the uh, D string down to the second fret. So we have this. And then um, the last one, you're just going to pick up to the open D and leave this finger here, and the, the pattern is slightly different here. We just go open D, G, B, G. Just kind of let it ring. And then back to the verse. So the exact same thing, all through the verse, the same uh, um, kind of pre chorusy parts, and the same babakawa, and then the same little descending lick. Um, so, uh, and then, you know, at the end of the song, they just kind of continue that. That's about it. Some simple parts, but some some great little lines, especially the descending stuff. Like that. Back to the song. Really dreamy melody there for the verse. I really like it. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Anything about John Lennon is always great. Uh, so this one's relatively simple though. So I hope you guys get it. Uh, can make it out pretty quick. Alright, I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.